brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Congressional Quarterly, a congressional trade publication, has released a story about delegate voting or the lack of it. The Democrat-controlled House of Representatives reinstituted their practice of allowing delegates limited voting rights in the 116th Congress. The article from CQ calls out Guam delegate Michael Sinicholas and other delegates' voting record in Congress. When it comes to voting, San Nicholas's record has been terrible. It reads, San Nicholas only cast 135 of 274 votes he was eligible for, and the article also calls him out for missing a majority of votes on the National Defense Authorization Act, which the article says is notable because Guam hosts two military bases. San Nicholas, ironically, also missed six votes on December 10th, the day after this story was released. The article also noted how local media on Guam highlighted San Nicholas's poor voting record. Our delegate did not respond to multiple requests for comment, according to the story. The article also appeared to poke fun at San Nicholas's Facebook defense of his voting record. Quote, in his Facebook post, San Nicholas made an odd argument that his missed votes were strategic. The story then quoted a Facebook post from the delegate that said in part, during votes, one thing is certain, that is the absolute best time to get the attention of administration, Senate, and other officials because most of them are not getting pulled away by other members of Congress. Saying letting delegates vote was unconstitutional. The Republicans lost that case. San Nicholas has the second worst voting record in the House of Representatives after American Samoa delegate Amwa Radawagan. CNMI delegate Kalili Sablan was also interviewed for the story. He cited the long distance he has to travel as a reason he missed votes, as well as attending high school graduations in the NMI. San Nicholas does not publicly announce his travel or schedule. He has not responded to numerous requests from KUAM for more information on a wide range of subjects dealing with his office and his performance. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.